morning, everyone, and happy Tuesday to you. I'm Amanda, also known as Keto Ginger. If you are new here, welcome. So awesome to meet you, and I hope you're enjoying being a part of our cool little community that we've got going on. So today is a really, really easy recipe, super easy video. I am doing some breakfast prep for Dan to bring with him to work. So I'm gonna throw a pound of bacon in the oven, get it nice and crispy so it's just grab and go in the morning, and I'm also going to make a batch of mini egg loaves. I showed this recipe, it was one of the very first videos that I uploaded when I started the channel and to this day it's one of my most requested recipes. I cannot take credit for this delicious recipe. Actually I believe my friend Keto Sam I Am over on Instagram is the one that coined the phrase egg loaf. Everyone nowadays seems to put their own little twist on it and add their own diverse flavors but the main person that came up with throwing these ingredients together was Keto Sam I Am. So shout out to my friend because I love her. So let me show you what you're gonna need to get the mini egg loaves going and and we'll get started. This is an easy one today, guys. Totally forgot to show you guys the new art. I say art and I use that term loosely. So I basically like my house to look like a shabby chic flea market. So there's just eclectic, different everything everywhere. If it's cute, I like it. That's just who I am. It's kind of country, but also fun. I found these at Joanne's Fabrics. And they've all got like cute little sayings on them. Aren't they the cutest? Guacamole one's the best. Here's what you'll need for egg loaf. Eight eggs, eight ounces of softened cream cheese, four tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of sweetener of your choice. I'm using this monk fruit blend again from Heike. Then whatever you want to flavor it with. I'm going to use some cinnamon, some vanilla extract, and then I'm also going to add a few drops of each of these from one-on-one -on -one flavors, cinnamon roll and maple syrup, and it's gonna make them taste like French toast. This is the pan I'm going to be using. This is a dessert bar pan and it's going to make like tiny little blocks of egg loaf. You could do this in a standard loaf pan. You could do it in a muffin pan. I've even done them in mini muffin pans. It's a very forgiving recipe. You could flavor up your egg loaf however you see fit. I like it on the sweeter side because I like it to mimic a French toast and kind of like a custard in that way, but I've done them savory by just throwing in pieces of bacon or adding things like vegetables. It's very versatile. I just happen to like them sweet. So you can flavor it up however you want. First things first, you're gonna wanna take your four tablespoons of butter and melt it in the microwave. It took about 30 seconds or so. Next, into my Ninja Blender, I am going to add eight large eggs. Next, we add the eight ounces of softened cream cheese. Then, two tablespoons of keto-friendly sweetener of your choice. Next, I'm going to add just about a teaspoon of cinnamon. Next, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Next, I'm going to add about eight drops each of the one-on-one -on -one flavors. I'm doing some cinnamon roll and some maple syrup. You can omit this all together. Lastly, I'm going to add in my four tablespoons of melted butter. I'm gonna throw on the lid preheat my oven to 350 degrees and then I'm going to blend this until it's complete liquid. After about a minute, I take off the lid. I use a rubber spatula to scrape down any bits of cream cheese or butter that got stuck to the sides and then I'll give it another about 20 seconds in the blender. All done blending and it should be an absolute liquid texture that's exactly what you're going for no chunks whatsoever it should be absolutely watery I went ahead and I greased my dessert bar pan with some organic coconut oil cooking spray now I'm going to take my batter and start filling the wells 
these puff up a ton while they are baking so it's really important not to overfill the wells i'm gonna do right about halfway and hope that that gets me to fill every single compartment fingers crossed i managed to fill all 12 wells now this is going to go into a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes they're gonna puff up too. They're so beautiful when they're done. Wait till you see how magnificent these are. Look at these awesome little bundles. Now, don't get too excited. They don't stay quite this puffy. As they sit on the counter cooling, they're gonna shrink down quite a bit and become almost like a few bite size. But I just love how they look when they first come out. See, it's already going down. Next on my agenda is cooking up a pound of bacon. Cooked bacon does not last long in my house. Between Dan and me and the kids snacking on it and just eating bacon as is, we also love to have it to use on recipes. Everything from hamburgers to sprinkling it on top of casseroles, salads, like you name it, having a pound of cooked bacon in your fridge is your friend on keto and just about always. I cook it in the oven. It's the easiest way that I've found to get consistent cooking with a large amount of bacon. I'm sure that I could do it in the air fryer or in a pan, but I just, I like doing it in the oven. What can I say? I bumped the heat up to 400 on my oven and now this bacon is going to cook for anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes. We like our bacon crispy so that's about what it takes. Your preference is up to you though. Got it on parchment paper, that's really, really helpful. See, I told you, the egg loaves settle down tremendously and just become these perfect little bite-sized egg loaves. The most glorious of sight and smells in my life. Fresh, beautiful sheet of crispy, crispy bacon. It took right around 25 minutes. And every piece is perfect. Except for the one stuck to the pan, because I'm the worst. Here it is. 12 of my mini egg loaves and a nice big pile of bacon. Now Dan will be able to throw these in a Tupperware and just grab and go and breakfast will take him 30 seconds for the next few days. Actually, I think I want to eat this for lunch. I slice them in half. I fry them in the pan in a little butter. That's how I like mine. Then they turn into like tiny French toast. Breakfast for lunch is always an amazing idea. Got a couple strips of bacon. Fried up two of my little egg loaves and it's going to be the most delicious French toast ever. It makes such a pretty plate, if I do say so myself. As you can see, endless ways to jazz it up. You can add sugar-free syrup, whipped cream, sugar-free chocolate chips, fruit, pecans, the world is your oyster. So if you haven't made this before, I hope that you'll make it. It's one of our most favorite recipes. I kind of forgot about it. I haven't made it in a while, but I'm super glad that it's here. If you're new here, hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you are not new here, thank you as always for supporting us on our little YouTube adventure. We love you guys and I hope you have the best day. See you soon.